What's up guys? With level 9 clans popping up everywhere, the most requested guard has been Soul Hunter. A lot of people want to know the correct way to build him. There are a lot of builds for him, but I'm going to show you the best ways to build him. Let's talk about Soul Hunter first. I'm not going to ramble about stuff you already know. It's obvious he's good. You know, he doesn't have a weakness, and with a dark move and a light move, he doesn't have a bad matchup at all. Like, it's just luck. Like, if you want to beat him, it's luck. And, you know, pro proper statting is, uh, is, um, you know, of course, necessary. We won't talk about his transformation. Pretty much, more than 50% of the guards... Of, of the transformations that Rita puts out, they're all garbage. You transform this guy and he turns into poison. And why would you want that when Izine is is like, you know, a lot of people have him now. So he's not going to be competitive at all. Yeah, he gets an extra half star into M attack and he gets a 115 base move, but his light move becomes a special. And that's what kind of kills his transformation. Even if you transform him, you can also transform him back. You know. He doesn't lose any stats, that's just because of the imprint I have on him. Okay, the first build I want to talk about is for the quests. The This was a build that we had kept for a while until Beast Plane came out, then we stopped, we, we, didn't, we didn't use it anymore because we didn't grind Vertex with the Dark Dragon, the Dark Warriors and stuff, but this build right here, right? 600 speed, rest attack, and a power 3 imprint. That beats every guard in the game up until beast plane, like the higher level beast plane guards. It, it'll beat guards like, you know, level 38 monkey and shit. But I think we put, yeah, I think we bumped M attack up to 70 for extra insurance against the Dark Warriors and Chaos. But it, it, it will beat every guard in the game, except for the higher level beast plane guards. That's for quests though. For fights, you're going to do the exact same thing. But instead of the power three imprint, you're gonna put an endurance imprint on him and rest into attack. You don't you don't have to put the rest into M attack. Like you don't have to raise it up to seventy. That was just for the quest for the Dark Warriors and Chaos. But you will want to put the rest into attack. In my other video, you guys saw that. Um, but yeah, I reset my other Soul Hunter that I will show you now or soon. A lot of people use the build in fights with six hundred speed rest attack. It's pretty good. It's, I mean, I think it's on par with a Blade Master speed. Some people think it's better because Soul Hunter has like 60 more hit points or something like that than Blade Master. And I can see where they're coming from. Hit points is the most important factor. Like, it's the most important stat in the game. That's why, like, uh, you know, guards like, or guards that have high hit points are usually the, you know, the guards that are pretty high in the list. Like, you know, Izine and Rexa, they got pretty high hit points. And Soul Hunter, too. He has above average hit points. Now, this is a build that I made a couple days ago. I am loving it so far. The way this works, you want to split defense and M defense kind of evenly. In the past, we used to put more defense than M defense because there wasn't really any magical guards out there that were, like, you know, people wouldn't use them over guards like, you know, over speed guards, like, let's say, um, Rexa, Blademaster... Well, SK was the only people who had Blade Master, so we won't include him, but yeah. Rexa, uh, oh yeah, this guy too, w w Wicked. And pretty much, oh yeah, TO2 Combat, people use TO2 Combat too. But pretty much, now, with the way the environment is now, you with, with Izine in the format, you have to split them both evenly. Or not exactly evenly, but, you know, I put one more in, into M Defense just because I had the extra stat. But the way this works, you're going to absorb two hits from them. And it's going to put you down to like 10 to 50 hit points. And that's fine because their next hit is going to put you down to one because it, the endurance print saves you. It does not matter how much damage it deals. If you're at 10 hit points and they deal like 300 damage, like if a Rexa uses a super punch or something and it deals 300 damage, it doesn't matter. The endurance imprint will save you. So the way this works is that, you know, if you're facing an assault, they can hit you first, it's fine. Then you hit them, then they hit you. Then that's going to put you down to like, you know, 10 hit points. Then you hit them, and that's going to put them down to like, you know, maybe 100 or so. Then they hit you, it's going to put you down to 1. And then you just attack and finish them off. 
this doesn't really have a bad magic. Like, they have to counter this perfectly. They have to put, like, you know, 300, uh, you know, M defense and just the rest of the offensive stat in order to counter this. This also beats a lot of speed guards, too. Because a lot of people now, right, they'll use a wicket or something. I'll show you guys here. Just a speed 3 wicket. Okay, you have to have, you know, 600 speed into a speed guard. That's That's the current standard now. 600 speed and rest into offensive stat. So let's say this wicket here. It's rank low 58, but you won't be facing that. You'll be facing like rank maybe uh, 55 or lower. Maybe you're high level 48s, which is fine. It's going to have 600 speed with like 170 attack. So if you look at the Soul Hunter, 170 attack versus the 200 defense, it's going to do like, you know, anywhere from 60 to 80 hits per swipe, depending if it uses a special or not. And that's fine because Soul Hunter has a tank. So if he's taking like 70 points of damage per hit, the Wicked can hit you three times. It doesn't matter. It's going to put you above half of your of your life. And then with the M attack, with the seal, you're going to just bl blow it out of the water. And, it, you know, if it has an Endurance imprint, that's fine. The Endurance imprint will save it at one. But then since you're above half hit points, the Wicked will, will hit you three more times. And you can be put at, at either like 10 hit points or above or you'll be put at one which is still fine because you will still kill kill the guard like this soul hunter does not necessarily have a, a bad matchup like they have to get extremely like you know they, they have to get they need luck to build to beat this guard that's pretty much what it is but this is my personal build of soul hunter i'm loving it it works really well you guys should try it out so yeah just the overview you have the Speed Soul Hunter, which a lot of people use, and it's it's pretty good. It's great, but I like this build better. This is basically a defense stack build with endurance. Just you know, you can take two big hits from like a power guard and still survive, and then be and you have the offense to finish it off too. A lot of times, if people are using power guards, they're going to put like a hundred defense, a hundred M defense, and rest into offensive stat, and they usually put like an assault on it. And, and that's fine because this can counter. I mean, depending on the level. I mean, obviously, if you have like a level 48 Soul Hunter built on this, you're, you're not going to take out like a level 55 or something. If you're lower level, you can decrease defense down to like 180, 190, or even decrease the M attack some. Uh, but keep it around this build. Keep it like 200, 300, 200 around that build and just take off stats per level. It's a pretty good build, guys. I suggest that you try it out. Okay, that's it for the for like the main review of Soul Hunter. A lot of people in game like they send me a message like, "Hey, I don't have a YouTube account. Can you do a review on this guard?" And that's kind of confusing for me because then I have to, you know, take into those into effect and add those up and compare them with the ones that are on the video. But guys, just create a YouTube account like. You don't even have to sub. I, I don't care, like, if you sub. I'm not into the whole YouTube money, like, thing. I, I do this for, for people. I don't do it for myself. I'm, I'm out there to help people. I'm not out there to help myself. Um, so, yeah, just create an account. It doesn't really matter what you do. Just leave the comment on the video. It, it makes it easier to put these out and add up all, all the totals. And besides, there are a lot of videos out there that you need an account to view because I, I posted a video it's called girls with clown faces or something like that and I used an audio that's like banned in Germany or something but it's not authorized so nobody can view it unless they have an account it, it's pretty weird but you should probably create an account anyways so yeah guys that's it this is pretty long the review of Soul Hunter was like seven minutes uh, I was hoping I could cut it down to like four but there was a lot of stuff I wanted to talk about with him especially my personal build here uh, this build is so good. Try it out, guys. It's pretty good. All right, guys, take care. Leave the comment below of what you think the next guard should be. Um, within a week, I think a lot of clans are going to hit level 10. So maybe you guys are going to want to see that. Like, you know, Izine builds or Rexa builds. Or not Rexa, Blade Master. Maybe you guys will want to see them. But I guess we'll find out. <laughs> this vid's coming to 10 minutes. I got to end it. Thanks for watching, guys, and leave your comment below, and always have a nice day.